A warm greeting? Today is Friday, June 7, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In today's video, I would like to give an update on how temperature anomalies are continuing in the Atlantic region. In the second part of the video, I will be discussing the new projection of the European model that was published two days ago. But first, I wanted to mention that the Atlantic and the Eastern Pacific have not yet seen the development of the first cyclone of the season. Although this is normal during June, which is usually calm, we are closely monitoring the future development of a Central American gyre that could lead to the development of some low-pressure areas in the Western Caribbean, the Southern Gulf of Mexico, or in the waters of the Eastern Pacific. To learn more about this forecast, I invite you to watch a video I recently recorded on my YouTube channel. Now let's move on to the next animation where we see the sea surface temperature anomalies. We can see how little by little the El Nino phenomenon continues to weaken, and it is very likely that during this month, NOAA will officially declare that we are in neutral conditions. Additionally, as the main topic of this video, notice how the warm temperatures in the Atlantic continue, where we are still seeing record temperatures for this time of year. Unfortunately, these temperature anomalies have persisted over the past few months, and we are just two months away from the peak of the season. So the projections remain that it will be a hyperactive season. Furthermore, I wanted to show the updates on temperatures in the main development region area that extends from the Caribbean to the western coast of Africa. Over the past few months, we have been monitoring the average temperature anomalies represented by the blue line, and as we can see, we are still at a record value. As usual, temperatures will continue to warm over the coming months. With greater concern, see the Caribbean region where we are currently at an extremely high level, far exceeding what we saw last year. On average, sea surface temperatures are around 29.5 degrees Celsius, exceeding the normal peak that typically occurs in September. In theory, we are four months ahead in the Caribbean sea surface temperatures, and like the rest of the Atlantic, temperatures will continue to rise until the peak of the season. The same is happening with the Gulf of Mexico region, where we are also recording temperatures far exceeding the previous record. In 2024, we have the highest average temperatures on record. Our great concern and emphasis, in particular, is that these warm temperatures can be extremely dangerous for the Caribbean region, Central America, Mexico, and the United States, as they will aid the formation of hurricanes, potentially leading to rapidly intensifying hurricanes. To understand our great concern, here are four images to compare the anomalies we are currently recording with those we had in June during historic seasons. For example, here are the anomalies recorded in June 2017, which was a very active year and which many in Puerto Rico remember due to Hurricane Maria's impact. Additionally, here are the temperature anomalies recorded in 2020, the most active season on record, and the anomalies seen in June 2005, another historic year when dangerous hurricanes formed in the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico. Remember that during 2005, 2017, and 2020, we saw the formation of extremely powerful hurricanes such as Katrina, Rita, Wilma, Maria, Irma, Iota, and Ada. Now compare the anomalies we are recording in 2024. This gives you a perspective on our great concern that this year we could potentially see extremely strong hurricanes in the Atlantic and Caribbean Sea. Now let's talk about the updated projection of the European model in terms of cyclonic activity for the Atlantic and the Eastern Pacific. But first, I invite you to stay informed during the hurricane season by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Go to the bottom of the video, click the red button that says subscribe, and then click the bell to receive notifications when I record new videos. Let's now analyze the June run of the European model, projecting cyclonic activity expected over the next few months and until November. In the following images, we will analyze the trends the European model has had since the April, May, and now June runs. As you can see in the latest runs, we have noticed significant changes. For example, this is the projection from April, this is from May, and the one that just came out in June. There are two important things I wanted to show in this image. First, the European model increasingly shows a higher probability of La Nina phenomenon in the Pacific. More significantly, it now shows a much hotter Atlantic and Caribbean Sea than it did during the May and April projections. These are not very encouraging changes, increasing our confidence in a hyperactive season. Now in the next animation, let's analyze a bit the projections of barometric pressure. In blue, lower than normal pressures are illustrated while in yellow and red, higher than normal pressures. This was the projection from April. Compare it with May's and now June's, where we can clearly see that the European model is now more aggressive in having low pressures across the Caribbean and Atlantic. This also increases the likelihood of seeing the development of powerful hurricanes. In the next image, we can see the precipitation anomalies projected for the peak of the season. This was the projection from April, and now with June's, you can see that the European model continues to project above normal precipitation across the tropical Atlantic, but more intense in the Caribbean region. This could indicate cyclones forming in this region. The only favorable trend I'm seeing in the new European model projection is the anomalies in mid and upper atmospheric pressure levels, which guide hurricanes. In red, you can see pressures above normal, 
and this was the April projection, showing stronger-than-usual high pressures in the North Atlantic, favoring more westerly tracks threatening the Caribbean, Mexico, Central America, and the United States. Now see May's projection, showing slightly weaker pressures. Comparing with June's new projection, the high pressures are a bit weaker, which could help some cyclones take a more northward track. This is definitely a favorable change. However, pressures will still be stronger than normal, so we continue projecting that tracks this year could be quite westerly. We will remain attentive to model trends to see if we get a bit lucky and some cyclones track over open Atlantic waters. Lastly, let's analyze the trends in the accumulated cyclonic energy projection. Notice that in April, the European model projected up to 70% more cyclonic activity than usual in the Atlantic. It also projected a slightly more active season in the Eastern Pacific. Comparing with the new projection, the European model has increased up to double the accumulated cyclonic energy, and now projects that the Eastern Pacific could be less active than usual. In terms of numbers, the European model continues projecting 21 tropical storms to form in the Atlantic this year, when the norm is 14, and of these, 11 could reach hurricane category, when the norm is 7. So the new European model projection doesn't change the expectation of a hyperactive season. Again, the June run is the most aggressive since this model began issuing these projections. Well, that would be all for this video. Stay tuned in the coming days, as we will be recording updates on the Colorado State University forecast, and we will continue to monitor the Central American gyre developing over Central America. Before I go, I want to invite you to consider becoming a sponsor of Hurricane Info. If you want to learn more about the different sponsorship plans, go to the blue button below the video that says Join. With a small monthly donation, you can support this project and receive some additional benefits. Well, with that, I say goodbye. Until the next video, I hope everyone has an excellent weekend. Goodbye.